Where are you from? I'm from Germany. I'm from Canada. I'm from Poland. Uh, Spain. Brazil. From Germany. From Germany. How is Jeju? I think Jeju is so beautiful. There's just a lot of nature to see here, lots of greenery and trees. And it's also very hot. I mean, it's still September, but you can still feel the heat and it's not too late to go to the beach. And so I've been to a couple of beaches so far and it's just so beautiful and there's so much more to see here. Among the beaches you've been to, like which of the beach would you recommend? I'd say Hyopje Beach. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I found there to be less people there and the water is so clear, but I also went to Hamdok Beach and it's also like the water is still very clear there and it's beautiful. But there's definitely more people and more stores around, but both are beautiful beaches. How have you been finding Jeju so far compared to like Seoul and Busan? Mm, it's very calming, very relaxing, not like Seoul. Seoul's like so full and it's um, good that we came here because um, after a time Seoul can get very busy and um, here you just can relax, um, you can just enjoy the view, the greeneries. While in Jeju, what have you done so far? So, so far what we have been doing is basically leaving the city and exploring a little bit around. So yesterday, for example, we did the volcano that is on the east uh, side of the, of the island and we also did the lava tubes and uh, they were both pretty amazing actually. I highly recommend it both. Do you have any activities packed out yeah, here, out here in Jeju? Um, I was in uh, Hyopje Beach and then I wanted to go kart racing here. How did you find out about this place? Um, I found out about it uh, on Instagram, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, because I saw a video that uh, it showed the gravity racing. What would you say? You know, like, are the things you can actually do out here, like in Jeju, as a tourist? Uh, I would say you can chew a lot. It's a very nice vibe for you to chew. You can come to the local markets, try crazy food, see like crazy people dancing while selling things. Uh, and yes, I think nature here is very nice. I think it's the best nature in, in Korea, probably. And yes, just walk around and see a different uh, landscape in Korea. Well, I would definitely suggest a park nearby called Park 981 where you can go go-karting actually. So I think that's a great activity that a lot of foreigners or Koreans or anyone has, that's here can do. How did you hear about Park 981? Well, actually, we went there for the bonding. After all of us came to the Jeju, we didn't know how to spend our time. So we just thought, hey, we should go to this place. Because I remember that some of our friends who already went uh, to, for the exchange told us about it. And we just went there. And it was so much fun. And we met there a really amazing people. So we would recommend it, it so much. This is the second time in Jeju, I believe. Yeah, it's my second time in Jeju, yeah. yeah. So the first time you came to Jeju, what were the different activities you did? Uh, we went to the Hyopje beach. I think it's very famous and it's really beautiful. Uh, we also did so many things. Uh, we went to the Halasan, but we didn't go here at the kart racing and we wanted to try this year. Oh, yeah. 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 So how did you hear about this kart racing? I saw it on Instagram. I thought it looked very nice, very cool, like with the view and everything, like kart racing. Uh, and it isn't that expensive. So I thought it is a place to go. And what are your expectations for like this car racing today, like this theme park? Uh, to have a nice view on Jeju. I think it will be nice, <laughs> the view. What is one thing you like about Jeju Island? I think that you just can come like calm down here and just sit and think for yourself. I don't know, I have the feeling like I can just relax, just um, go. Like I had so much thoughts before I came here and I just let it go. Uh, when I look at the view, the greenery, it just went away. What would you say are the top outdoor activities or adventures for people that like adrenaline feel? So I would definitely recommend the both I mentioned before, the lava tunnel and especially the volcano. The volcano is quite uphill experience and then you get a pretty nice view and then you do all the way down. And you can also see the diving women uh, that are there just on the very bottom. And uh, I would say for adrenaline seekers, that would be that would be it more or less. Yeah. yeah. What are the fun things would you recommend all the foreigners can do out here, like if, when they come to Jeju Island? Obviously, go to the beach. There are also uh, dolphin experience. Hike the Halasan, but I think that's a very tough experience because you you need to like go there like three hours. And how about the gravity racing? Yeah, that's also a very fun activity. I think.
would you be down to like you know try to experience it today yes yes I, I will definitely do it what is the most visit natural wonders of Jeju Island oh definitely the Halasan yeah the mountain and the beaches are very beautiful you can see dolphins I heard yeah I will <laughs> I want to see them what would you say you like is unique about Jeju Island I would say I really like how the whole landscape is like volcanic shape as in like you just see this volcanic uh, background absolutely everywhere we're using the island uh, even in the stones that they like uh, made hand make and stuff like that uh, I would say that yeah what is one advice you'd give to other foreigners or tourists that would like to come out to Jeju to try out like activities or better still like just live here or like school just like you guys okay I would say be open-minded to learning about the culture trying the foods because in Jeju of course you can find like a subway or McDonald's but why not try the ethnic like authentic foods while you're here so I'd say be open-minded and also try to learn the language because a lot of people on Jeju may not know English or it might be like um, not the it might not be the strongest language so I'd say definitely put an effort and the locals are gonna appreciate it if you try to speak Korean I totally agree about the language part because not a lot of people talk uh, speak English here or they you know only a little bit of English so you should know at least the basic phrases the basic Korean phrases and also I would recommend to go to Dongmun market because uh, you can find here all the authentic food and like really beautiful souvenirs so yeah and I would also just recommend yeah, as my friend said just to be open-minded there's so many things to see here and we haven't uh, seen that much we still have a lot to do and so yeah just be prepared for having a lot of fun. I'm probably going to say something ridiculous, but if you are going to the Jeju, you should bring with you some spray for mosquitoes, especially Aww. if you like to go for the night market or something because they are they're killing everyone. <laughs> it's just like really been bothering me. So I recommend some spray <laughs> for mosquitoes. Yeah,